collage, collage thing. Collage. 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 What should we have like? Collage. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? This is Paris, Texas. Uh, I'm Felix. I'm Louis Pastel. And we're now celebrating with the Orchard Black Music Month. So we're gonna show you our Paris, Texas collage. My favorite legacy artist is Michael Jackson because he just makes pure, timeless music. That shit hard. Damn, that's, that's a, a good, good one. one. You know what I'm saying? I would say my, my favorite legacy artist? Oh my God, he got a good one, dude. Legacy he's artist. That for, he's that for both of us. <laughs> my bad, my bad, bro. Damn. My dream collaboration would probably be uh, Arthur Russell. You know, I'm already living in the dream. Hey, because this is my favorite collaboration. Damn, this is my favorite dream collab Damn of all you making me blush, Dad. Yeah, you crazy. That was hard, though. That was a good you answer. Know what I'm New artist I, that I mess with is probably Jeremy Crescendo. Mm -hmm. I really like his music. It's mm -hmm. addicting. It's really addicting. <laughs> I can't stop listening to it. It's oh, messed man. up. Oh, it's an artist from Florida named Lo Shimmy. I just like Lo Shimmy. I think he's really tight. My favorite instrument is the piano. Yeah. yeah. My favorite instrument would probably be piano too. It's, it's yeah. tight. It's cool, it's cool. I don't even play it, but it's tight. It's so tight. It's tight. It's a perfect, it's a perfect instrument. Yeah. It's like one of the only, besides, you know, obviously guitar, but like, you can make so many songs with just piano. Mm -hmm. That's kind of nuts. Yeah. I just solo piano ballads, just like, hey. Chorus sound beautiful. Wurlitzer. Yeah. Road keys. They're just yeah. tight. Electric piano. That Electric piano, piano. Yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. The roads. The roads are crazy. Yeah, um, the most impactful year for me is probably 2013. Yeah, for real. That's probably like, like 2011, 2013 for sure. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that like really set the blueprint that mm -hmm. like I think Kanye and a lot of other people tried to start mm -hmm. early on, but they kind of were like the independent ones of that like non-stereotypical I rap and only rap and mm -hmm. like I have to like be either hotep or like super flashy. Mm -hmm. I think 2011, 2013, you really start seeing rappers and rap have like personalities mm -hmm. beyond just rapping. Yeah. Just sonically, it was kind of incredible. Mm -hmm. We got Rocky and his team, you got OF, you got Danny Brown, you got Schoolboy, you got Kendrick, mm -hmm. you got Drake still doing his thing. Yep. Like Young Thug just appeared before yep. like. That got super taken Cole Bennett was making like crazy videos at that time. It was before that. Oh, it was before? No, it was Last after, 2013. Yeah, it was before, after, yeah, you're before, right. Before Cole Bennett right. came, but like. Donald, Donald just put out. Because yeah. of the internet. Yeah. yeah, it was the last time I think like, it wasn't as uniformed as it is now. Mm -hmm. I think now people are like, anything that happens, like it's, they're jumping on any sound, anything. Right. And I exhausting think, it. Yeah, I think back then the it was like, you were just getting so much different shit. Yep. And King Crew was popping. Yep. And like that got integrated into rap really well. Mm -hmm. Chance yeah. just came out and yep. that was crazy. Yep. Yeah. It was like it was like it seemed like it was anybody's game. Right. Yeah. Mac, yeah, was, Mac was turning up. Mac was turning up. Yep. Yeah. Faces Earl's came out. Doors came out. Wolf yep. came out. Yep. That shit was going <laughs> crazy. Yeah, everything was going nuts. <laughs> that shit was going crazy. Most impactful album to me is Yeah, I wish I had two, but I'm just gonna say one. Is a real boy by say anything. It's a really good album. Thank you too. What's up? Thank you too. And Wildlife by Law Dispute. Those are really two really solid albums. I think that was the first time I could see like, and it's not rap, but especially with Is a Real Boy, I was just like, dang, this is like a very angsty white dude mm -hmm. without being too like whiny, but it was just like really good writing. Most impactful album for me probably probably because of the Internet or Pimp a Butterfly, honestly. Good. Yeah. Like the impact in terms of impact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably those. The first album I ever purchased was Downtown Battle Mountain 2 by Dance Gavin Dance. That was the first album I ever bought. Hot Topic. How old are you? Do you remember? Like was, what grade you were? I was 17. Damn, okay. Yeah, I was 17. The first album I bought, it wasn't with my money, but it was the physical. <laughs> first album I bought, it was in summer school, it was Danger Doom. It was either Danger Doom or Black Eyed Peas Monkey Business. It was one of those, but I bought that. That shit is hard, yeah. <laughs> that shit, black monkey business go crazy. But yeah, no, it was dangerous. I think cause some kid in class was like, oh yeah, man, you watch Adult Swim? Do you know who MF Doom is? I was like, no. He's like, oh, he has this tape, man. It's sick, it has all the characters. And I said, fuck it. 
Mm-hmm. And so that was my first introduction to Doom, which is interesting. But yeah, yeah, it was one of those. Mm-hmm. Taste of Chaos, Pierce the Veil, Bring Me the Horizon, and Cancer Bats. Was that Warped Tour? I just said Taste of Chaos, dummy. But you said a bunch of different artists. Oh, they were all playing? Yeah, like oh, Taste that's of Chaos. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Taste of Chaos, I'm tripping. Yeah, I know what Taste of Chaos. It was sponsored by Rockstar. Hey. Pierce the Veil came out and they did a cover of. It was a Lil Wayne song, I forgot what it was. Lollipop, probably? Mm mm. Mm mm. It was Hustle, after it was that. It was hustle music. No, no, it was like. Someone was like, in my life, that. something like that. What song was that? Oh my, no, wait, what? In my life, that sounded like See Me in My Nightmares. It wasn't that. I think it was that. Oh, that's Kanye, that's 808. No, it wasn't that then. Yeah, it couldn't have been that. It's like old Wayne shit. It was something around, it was something around it. No, no, no. Was he like, singing? He's singing, he's singing crazy. It was something, they covered some song like that, and I was like, you can mix he rap could. with rock? Right, right, right. It was after that, it was over. <laughs> but I think the first concert I ever went to was, because my sister told me to go. Some and I think it was the Heart of the City tour at the Hollywood Bowl with Jay-Z and Mary J. Blige, and the dream came out to open, which is crazy to think about, but yeah. And Jay-Z was skipping songs. He was behind the DJ booth like, no, I don't want to play that one. Like, everybody in the crowd would get hype. Ah. He'd be like, nah, 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 next one. I'm like, Jay-Z, are you cutting time? Because you're already late. So are you just like, do you really not want to perform these songs? Do you remember them? It's Jay-Z, though. Jay-Z and Mary J. Blige. Heart of the city. Hope. Do say. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Susie's at Redondo Beach, technically. Yeah. That's technically the first place I ever, ever performed at. Yep. Yeah. Shout out uh, Adrian, the DJ. Adrian, the DJ. And shout out Yusuke. They shout both out Yusuke. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was the first place. We're going to keep that one short.